In the meantime, there are major additions coming to Laurelhurst Park, this coming at the request of the mayor. Coin6 Learning, he has asked that parts, Parks and Rec create pickleball courts, also a skate ramp in a spot that's been known for homeless camping for years. Jenny Young live now and digging deeper into the plans and the work that's already going on. I know you're live there at Laurelhurst Park with the latest, Jenny. Liz, we're told by a Parks and Rec spokesperson that the mayor's office gave a directive giving them control management of this part of Oak Street, uh, like you said, to create um, more amenities for park goers. We are asking Mayor Wheeler's office, is this a strategy to prevent the continuous ca um, homeless camping that we see here? Peabot crews rolling equipment out early Tuesday morning, refurbishing pavement along Southeast Oak Street at Laurelhurst Park, getting it ready to create pickleball courts. 24 hours ago, a city contracted cleanup crew was here removing homeless campers. I mean, I guess it's better than putting boulders down. We're learning just beyond the pickleball courts, Portland Parks and Rec will build a skate ramp and bicycle course. The city calling this the Laurelhurst Park Oak Street Activation Project. I believe it's like a blatant neglect of what the real problem was. Mayor Wheeler's office providing us this rendering of the project, but they didn't answer our question when we asked why the mayor directed the project. We're still working to find out if it's an unprecedented move. A lot of people passing by the construction today were curious and surprised when we told them about the project, including a woman who says the new additions sound fun for park goers, but she wonders if it's the right place and right time to make these changes. I don't know if the perception of the public is that it's Laurelhurst and not everywhere else, that, the, that it's a solution just for this neighborhood instead of a bigger solution for all of homelessness in the, in the city. And Lentz deserves a solution Laurelhurst deserves a solution. Downtown deserves a solution. It's not just this neighborhood. All right, some people who live in this neighborhood telling us off camera they think it's a good idea, but not everybody thinks it's a good idea. And uh, we have seen some homeless folks coming by here with their belongings, really shocked to see this fence. One person, I asked them how they thought about it. They called it disgusting. This is a story we're going to continue to follow because it is not without some controversy. Reporting live at Laura Park, Jenny Young, Coin Six News.